Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan spoke to journalists on his flight en route to Turkey from Azerbaijan on Monday. President Erdogan evaluated the cooperation between Ankara and Baku and Turkey's foreign policy engagements. Our wish is to open Zangazur as a peace corridor. Steps will be taken gradually in every field, from energy to defense industry, from trade routes to regional cooperation, and they will be implemented progressively. We discussed the current situation in Karabakh and reiterated our strong support for Azerbaijan's just cause. I congratulate Azerbaijan once again for its historic success in the anti-terror operation. As a result of the operation, Azerbaijan's sovereignty over all of Karabakh has been reaffirmed. Turkey has deep-rooted historical and cultural ties with southern Caucasia, which serves as a bridge linking Turkey to Central Asia. With the aim of establishing peace and stability in southern Caucasia, Turkey supports the resolution of the conflicts in the region through legitimate means within the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Azerbaijan. We see no issue that cannot be resolved as long as Azerbaijan's territorial integrity, sovereignty and neighborly relations are respected. Progress in the Azerbaijan-Armenia process will also greatly contribute to regional normalization. We expect Armenia to demonstrate a strong resolve now, rather than prolonging the process. We will continue to work with Azerbaijan to establish stability, peace and prosperity in the southern Caucasia. Turkey has deep-rooted political, economic, military and cultural relations with the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Due to its historical and cultural bonds, Turkey attaches utmost importance to the security and welfare of the Turkish Cypriot people. No one should expect us to ignore the rights of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus or to allow them to be disregarded. We will raise our voice even louder for the recognition of the TRNC by other countries. We have previously emphasized that leaving this issue unresolved is not the solution. Saying non-solution is not a solution. It is now time to take the right steps that will erase all the wrongs. The recognition of the TRNC will be a remedy for the many wrong steps taken, especially by the European Union. The island of Cyprus deserves to be associated with peace and tranquility, not tensions. Turkey and the United States have extensive relations at every level on bilateral, regional and global issues. The two NATO allies, however, have been at loggerheads with one another over several developments. One of the most significant issues regarding the F-16 jets was the activities of Senator Bob Menendez against our country. Menendez's departure is advantageous for us, but the F-16 matter is not solely dependent on Menendez. They are connecting Sweden with the F-16, meaning they are saying, sort this out. Canada is doing the same, and so is the United States. We say, if you have your Congress, we have our Parliament. Ultimately, the decision regarding Sweden's NATO membership will now be made by the Turkish Grand National Assembly. The Black Sea Grain Initiative, brokered by Turkey and the United Nations in 2022, ended after Russia withdrew in July. Ankara and the United Nations are now seeking to convince Moscow to return to the agreement. President Putin has Africa in his sights regarding the grain corridor. He says, we don't send grain to European countries. If you want to send it, let's do this as a trio of Ankara, Doha, Moscow, and let's even select six African countries to send it to. We said, OK. Now telephone diplomacy has started. We are working on this process with our foreign ministers, and we want to continue this with African countries in the most ideal way possible. As one of the major components of the Middle East region, Turkey associates the stability, security and well-being of the Arab countries directly with its own. Turkey has been seeking to normalize its relationships with several countries in the Middle East. The development road project encompasses the Gulf countries, Iraq and us entirely. The project involves transit through Iraq to our country and Europe. In that regard, our situation holds great significance. Some are making efforts to fuel conflicts, but we will focus our efforts not on inciting disputes, but on finding solutions. Because the development road project, especially in this region, will hopefully be the first step in eliminating all dark forces entrenched here and building a path toward development and enlightenment. Turkey and Israel currently have a total trade volume of $9.5 billion. The Turkish and Israeli decision-makers reached an agreement to increase this trade volume from $9.5 billion to a minimum of $15 billion in the first phase. Our countries are collaborating in many fields, and the presence of new areas for cooperation is a reality, especially given the current geopolitical situation following the Russia-Ukraine conflict in Europe. 
there is a quest for sustainable energy sources. It's well known that Israel is exploring options for transporting its resources to Europe, and the most sensible route is through our country to reach these resources to Europe. 